Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole. I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Let's rouse some hop heads. You think talking's cheap? Try hiring a lawyer. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, it's my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a gnash if you're in vice calls. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Any of the vicinity officer needs assistance, 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue. Get into handle code 2 identify. Detective Phelps, I got the call for assistance. Who are the suspects? Bank robbers. Same gang that took the Citizens National Trust in savings last month. chair.
Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front of the car? That's the cop who caught her. I got your plate. Picked a prize shithole for our first date. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. All these cops, it's gotta be so It's up the big, stairs, right? detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. Who are these guys? This I is swear. a secure area. You all need to leave. Hell. That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Oxymoron for you. Move it. Come on. You will respect the law. Can you go door to door? See how many of the neighbors are home. First thing we did once the apartment was secure. Or it is if kept to themselves. Only time anyone ever saw them was when they went to the joint across the road for some soul food. Okay. I'm all done. Your show now. Brothers, Phelps, I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product, and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? Took his jolt and drifted off. I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. Find anything interesting? Black Caesar. From a joint across the street. What the heck did he take? These clowns lived on popcorn? Oh, it's popcorn. Been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. A small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. Red is enough to knock you out for combat drum. Two of them will stop your heart. 
looks like it was always going to end this way. Good die young. I hope it was true in your case. It was JJ. And why do these two care about his taste in music? It's me. Another special order from the Caesar. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Drugs. Yeah. The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. Another special order from the Caesar. Be in order here. Never the same, are they?
right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Mm. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. Kick me in the face. is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Sure, it's satisfying. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Maybe Morgan can give 
or something on this Jones character. Yeah. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. You lie. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supply them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Um. Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Posher bank slip found in a wallet of overdose victim. I don't know if that's a lie or... We have an address on the slips. We're gonna go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help me some. Fleetwood, I'm gonna speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's, a, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin, all right? I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. Wait, you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. He helped us out. And we always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, Detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as... 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks for your help. The heck? 